The clock is ticking, so it is the time to release Plasma 5.6, which brings many improvements and features to your desktop. The default Plasma theme, Breeze, now follows the application color scheme, allowing for a more personalized experience. K-Runner gained cleaner look and support for drag and drop. The much improved task manager in Plasma 5.6 now displays progress of tasks, such as downloading or copying files. Hovering a music or video player shows beautiful album art and media controls, so you never have to leave the application you're currently working with. Users that place a folder applet in their panel can now choose between list and icon view. Additionally, Tooltip animations have become more subtle. When adding desktop widgets, all windows get minimized and the widget explorer becomes semi-transparent during drag. Activity Manager backend was revamped, so creating and switching between activities should be noticeably faster. This release brings back the Weather and Media Frame Widget. If you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE so we can continue to work together and make the best free software possible. After a few months of hard work, the KDE community is pleased to announce Plasma 5.7, which brings many improvements and features to your desktop. For improved visibility, Breeze icons within applications are now tinted, depending on the color scheme. Jump list actions, which allows for a quicker access to tasks within an application, are now available directly from KRunner. Support for enabling and restoring multi-screen setups was greatly improved in Plasma 5.7. The volume applet gained the ability to control volume on a per-application basis and allows you to move application output between devices using drag and drop. The taskbar has gained a completely revamped backend, featuring greatly increased reliability and support for Wayland. This release brings back agenda view in the calendar, providing an overview of upcoming appointments and holidays. The system tray has been rewritten from scratch to allow for a simpler and more maintainable code base. Plasma 5.7 greatly enhances KDE's kiosk framework, which allows you to restrict the customizability of the workspace in order to keep users in an enterprise or public environment from performing unwanted actions or modifications. If you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE so we can continue to work together and make the best free software possible. After a few hard months of work, the KDE community is pleased to announce Plasma 5.8 Long-Term Support Edition. This version will be supported for at least 18 months, so if you haven't tried Plasma Desktop yet, take a look at some of its unique features. With desktop widgets, you can easily organize your files, monitor the system, and quickly launch favorite apps, and more. Plasma lets you easily search your desktop for applications, folders, music, video files, everything you have. Plasma's default theme, Breeze, has a unified look across all common application toolkits. Download wallpapers, window styles, widgets, desktop effects, and many other resources straight to your desktop from the KDE Store. Using KDE Connect, you'll be notified on your desktop about text messages, can easily transfer files, and even use your phone as a remote control. Plasma is simple by default, but you can customize it however you like with new widgets, panels, screens, and styles. But this isn't all. Plasma 5.8 brings even more features and improvements to your desktop. This release brings an all-new artwork design, giving you a complete breeze startup to shut down experience. 
Support for Semitic right-to-left written languages such as Hebrew and Arabic have been greatly improved. Plasma wallpaper plugins such as slideshows and animated wallpapers can now be used on the lock screen. This release received many bug fixes and multi-screen support and should significantly improve your experience with docking stations and projectors. Media controls that were previously available only in the Task Manager tooltips are now accessible in context menus as well. Additionally, dropping the files onto the Task Manager entries themselves will now open up the associated application. The Virtual Desktop Switcher, Pager, and Window List Tablets have been rewritten for greater speed using the new Task Manager backend introduced in Plasma 5.7. Plasma Discover has gained a brand new interface based on KDE's versatile set of cross-platform UI components. Global Shortcut Configuration has been simplified and can now be configured to jump to specific tasks within an application. And modifier-only shortcuts allow you to open application menus just by pressing the Meta key. If you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE so we can continue to work together and make the best free software possible. After a few months of intensive work, the KDE community is pleased to announce Plasma 5.9, which brings many improvements and features to your desktop. Global menu bars for applications have returned and can be used with either a desktop panel showing the menu or neatly tucked away in the window bar. Due to popular demand, we implemented switching between Windows and Task Manager using the new Meta Key plus a number key shortcuts for heavy multitasking. It is now possible to create comprehensive look and feel desktop themes that will download all the extras needed from the KDE store, such as color schemes and plasma themes. A utility called Look and Feel Explorer was added to create these plasma themes and to ease publication on the KDE store. There is a more compact and beautiful design for scroll bars in the breeze style, giving our applications a sleek and modern look. K-Runner actions, such as Run in Terminal and Opening Containing Folder, are now also shown for the K-Runner-powered search results in application menus. Task Manager tooltips have been redesigned to provide more information while being significantly more compact. Plasma notifications now support interactive previews, which you can drag from the notification pop-up directly into a chat window, an email composer, or a web browser form. It's now possible to group together multiple desktop widgets in a single, tabbed interface. Applications currently playing audio are marked in the Task Manager, similar to how it's done in modern web browsers, so you can easily mute them. You can now add widgets to your desktop straight from the full screen application dashboard launcher. System Settings has a new module for configuring network connections with a fresh new look. The icon widget sees the return of a settings dialog, so you can now change the icon, label text, working directory, and other properties. If you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE so that we can work together to make the best free software possible. After a few months of intensive work, the KDE community is pleased to announce Plasma 5.10, which brings many improvements and features to your desktop. Due to the popular demand, we've changed a folder view as the default desktop, which allows users to put whatever files or folders they want on their desktop. Spring loading in folder view makes drag and drop files powerful and quick. When you search in KRunner, it can now list non-installed applications in the software center. The icon size in the vertical task manager is now configurable to support more and more popular vertical panel usage cases. Speaking of the task manager, it's gained options for middle mouse click, so you can group and ungroup applications. Places jump list actions are available to the file manager launchers, so Dolphin and Task Manager gives you quick access to locations like your downloads and your pictures. The audio volume applet has a handy menu on each device, which you can use to set the default or switch the output to a different port. Interactive notifications now support a context menu on previews, giving you access to actions such as open the containing folder, copy, and open with. It is now possible to resize widgets on the desktop by dragging on their edges and moving them with Alt-Left click, just like a regular window. Plasma Menu Launchers gained a new category for often used documents and applications. 
Lock screen has gained support for media controls, so you can switch between your favorite songs without the need to unlock your desktop. Discover Software Center has gained provisional backends for flat packs and snap packages. It's now possible to use the virtual keyboard on the login and lock screen. If you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE so we can work together to continue to make the best free software possible. After a few months of intensive work with over 700 code commits, the KDE community is pleased to announce the release of Plasma 5.11. Plasma 5.11 introduces a new redesign to the system settings, improving usability and making it easier to navigate. This new design was built with a responsive layout, making it possible to adjust the content displayed based on the size of the window. Due to popular demand, Plasma now has an option to store missed and expired notifications, making it possible to review what happened in your absence. The notification history is the first part of an ongoing effort to modernize the notification system in Plasma. The Plasma team invites users to leave feedback on the new notification history to continue to improve this feature for everyone. App Launcher menus have improved with the ability to edit or uninstall applications by right-clicking on an entry within the search results. The Minimalist Kicker menu will now automatically hide the favorite section when that section is empty. The new Plasma Vault offers strong encryption features presented in a user-friendly way. Plasma Vault allows you to lock and encrypt sets of documents and hide them from prying eyes even when the user is logged in. These vaults can be decrypted and opened easily from the system tray. Plasma Vault extends Plasma Activities feature with secure storage by offering the user the ability to isolate vaults to specific activities. The Task Manager in Plasma 5.11 sees the addition of dynamic jump list actions. The new functions make it possible for applications to provide access to internal functions such as a text editor's list of sessions, options to change application or document state, and more. The performance of the task manager has also been improved for smoother operation. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE. Let's work together to continue to make the best free software possible. Plasma 5.11, simple by default, powerful when needed. The KDE community is pleased to announce Plasma 5.12 LTS. In development for over a year, this long-term support release ships with many exciting new features. Plasma 5.12 introduces new customizations to the default kickoff menu. Users are now able to rearrange or remove sections from the menu. In this example, I condensed it down to Applications, Computer, and the Leave options. If instead you'd like a simple applications menu, just remove all other sections. Building on the notifications history added in Plasma 5.11, 5.12 adds the ability to select and copy text to your clipboard. This new feature also supports copying links directly from notifications. The latest version of Discover sees much improvement in stability and in the user interface. The headers of various sections are much leaner, and item listings are now more compact to provide a better user experience. The Configure Sources function has seen much improvement for a more complete UI. Discover now supports apt URLs to easily install applications from your web browser. This release also sees improvements to snaps and flatpak support as well as the ability to enable offline updates. Folder View is now the default desktop layout for KDE Plasma. This feature was added to ease the transition for users from other operating systems. Whether you want to place folders, files, or application icons on your desktop, you can with Folder View by default. We also improved the concept of desktop icons by introducing spring loading. Spring loading allows you to drag and drop items through subfolders without the need of opening your file manager. System settings has received a new responsive design making it easier to navigate. This new responsive layout makes it possible to adjust the content displayed based on the size of the window. 
Plasma 5.12 LTS was heavily focused on stability and performance improvements. A great example of that is the 30% speed boost for system boot up time in Plasma 5.12 when compared to Plasma 5.8 LTS. Dynamic jump list makes it possible for applications to provide access to internal functions directly from the application entry on the panel. For example, in Dolphin, you can see the available jump list actions by right-clicking the entry. If you were to add additional folders to the Dolphin bookmarks, you can quickly and easily add new actions to the jump list. Media controls have been added to the system's lock screen, allowing you to control playback of music without being logged into your computer. You can navigate between songs, and you can pause or play music. This feature also will automatically pause the playback when the system is suspended. Users of Ubuntu's Unity desktop environment may be familiar with the concept of global menus. KDE Plasma's global menu feature sees usability improvements in Plasma 5.12, including the automatic starting of the corresponding background service when the menu is enabled. The new Plasma Vault offers strong encryption features with a user-friendly presentation. Plasma Vault allows you to lock and encrypt sets of documents and hide them from prying eyes even when the user is logged in. You can also isolate vaults to specific activities for even more security. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy using Plasma, please consider donating to KDE. Let's work together to continue to make the best free software possible. Plasma 5.12 LTS. Simple by default. Powerful when needed. After four months of intense work, the KDE community announces today the release of Plasma 5.13. The Plasma team has optimized and improved performance, and now your Plasma desktop runs better than ever on a variety and range of different devices, from low-end ARM netbooks to powerful gaming PCs. Plasma 5.13 introduces Plasma Browser Integration, a suite of new features which allows Firefox and Chromium-based browsers to integrate with your desktop. Downloads are displayed in the Plasma notification pop-up, and you can use the Media Control Plasmoid to interact with videos and music playing from within the browser. You can also send a link to your phone with KDE Connect and browser tabs can be opened directly using KRunner. The KDE Visual Design Group has implemented new designs for our system settings using the Kiragami framework. The redesigned pages in 5.13 include theming tools such as desktop themes, icons, and cursor themes, and the splash screen page can download new splash screens from the KDE store. The login and lock screens have a fresh new design, displaying the wallpaper of the current Plasma release. The lock screen incorporates a slick fade to blur transition to show the controls, allowing it to be easily used as a screensaver. Our compositor, KWIN, has received many performance and visual improvements. A new efficient blur effect can be used in the Breeze widget style, dashboard menu, and even in console, giving them an elegant and modern look. The media control widget has been redesigned for a better user experience and support for the NPRIS specification has also been improved. Version 5.13 of Discover comes with better performance and optimized design for a better user experience. The list and category pages have replaced the header images with interactive toolbars. Lists can now be sorted and use the new Kiragami Cards widget. Plasma Vaults includes a new CryFS backend, better air reporting and a more polished interface, and the ability to remotely open and close vaults via KDE Connect. Support our work by donating to KDE. Let's work together to continue to make the best free software possible. Plasma 5.13. Simple by default, powerful when needed.
Thank you. 